Next question. What are you doing in math? Why are you doing it? <clears throat> Let me get a marker that works better. First of all, I do this one. Math has two types of questions. Can someone tell me what they are? Fosco, you've taken the test. Problem what are the data Okay, problem solving, right? And data sufficiency. Right? This one tells you to solve the problem. This one tells you to find out. Is there enough information to solve the problem? Different issue, right? Okay. Have you both seen samples of both these types of problems? Yeah. Did you have fun doing them? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, here's a really important question for you. Before we even begin this, we have to step back a little bit and ask the question, what is this test really a test of? Right? Let me give you a sample of what I mean by this. Are you familiar with bell curve distributions and test takers? Have you seen this shape before? What does this shape refer to? Mirza? This is from statistics. Right. right. Mm -hmm. um, this, um, distribution, but, um, distribution. It's a normal distribution, right? All I know is mean, median, average. Okay. As far as I know. Good. So we have, right, in terms of GMAT scores, okay, despite years, of test takers, right? despite the fact that every year more and more people do test prep in some form or another, right? there is a consistent bell curve. Very few people do exceptionally better. right? And here's an important question. Why? And this is really part of what, for both math and verbal, makes you a better or worse test taker. right? So let's say that the two of you Take the GMAT. You've gone to the same class. You have knowledge of the same formulas in math, right? You both know the Pythagorean theorem. You both know the area of a triangle, right? The area of a trapezoid. You both know how to compute work problems. You know the formula of permutations and combinations. You both know them exactly the same way. You take the test. You get two different scores. And you have the same test, right? Why? What do you think? makes people do better or worse on the GMAT math part of the test. What are you really being tested on? What do you think it's a test of? How will you answer the question? True, absolutely true, right? What else is a test of? I was going to say how will you actually the theory, maybe? Okay, applications and reasoning are a big part of it, right? Reasoning, assuming this marker works, if you can see I spelled out reasoning. Reasoning, what do you think? Timing. Timing, what does that mean exactly? Is this a math test? Here's a better question for you. Is this a math test? Yes or no? Some, at some point it is, but not, not the entire thing. And what else is it? If it's, not, if it's only partially a math test, and yet it's full of math problems, makes you wonder, right? What is it really testing in you? These markers work. Here we go. What is it really a test of? Let me give you a problem. And I'm going to ask you to tell me something very interesting about this problem. Two things. Number one, how do you solve the problem? Number two, I'm going to give you two different sets of answers. I want you to tell me which set of answers will never appear on the GMAT, and why? Different question, okay? Here's your problem. 